Greetings, and welcome to our In the Studio conversation. Today is Monday, March 9, 2020, and we're here to provide you with the latest information regarding the coronavirus, which is making headlines as more cases are being confirmed every day throughout the country, and right here in the state of Maryland. While the virus is spreading, our message to you is be prepared, don't panic, Right now, the risk of exposure is low in Charles County. We're here today to help provide some information about what you need to know. And I'm joined by Dr. Susan Lowry, the health officer for Charles County. We're gonna talk specifically about uh, COVID-19, commonly referred to as the coronavirus, and what's happening in the state of Maryland and right here in Charles County. So Dr. Lowry, what is COVID-19? COVID-19 uh, refers to a coronavirus disease. It's a novel virus and it's termed uh, for 19 for 2019. It is a respiratory disease that um, presents with runny nose, coughing, fever, and in some cases, um, pneumonia. So coronavirus um, is, can infect humans and animals. Humans have their own coronaviruses and animals have their own coronaviruses. On occasion, the animal con uh, coronaviruses can uh, cross over and infect humans. And this is the case with COVID-19. Um, now, um, it started in China and since then has spread to uh, many countries, including um, the U.S. It is considered a new virus in uh, humans. Normally, um, coronavirus is one of the causes of the mm -hmm. common code along with other viruses that can cause common codes. And those would be parainfluenza, adenovirus, metanumovirus, and um, those are just common code viruses. So this is a question I know everyone wants to know. What do I do if I think I'm sick? If you think that um, you are sick with coronavirus, right. if you believe, you, and these are the reasons you would think you were sick with coronavirus, if you were in an area of travel where a coronavirus is endemic or, or is prevalent, and that changes depending on the cases so it's a constantly evolving situation if you think that you came in you are you went to uh, a country that is prevalent like china iran italy uh, japan korea and and you feel sick or you are in close contact with somebody you know tested positive then you should take the following steps call your doctor if you don't have one, call the ER uh, or call the health department and let them know, give them very specifics of your situation um, and let them know that you are coming. And from there, they will uh, screen you, contact appropriate information sources and decide what needs to be done. So Dr. Lowry, how does the virus spread? So COVID-19 spreads like uh, a cold virus. It spreads when someone coughs or sneezes and you are in the area. It's usually for those in close personal contact, people you live with, if you share drinks with them, if you eat with them, or they just cough on you. It's also, and when they cough, it goes on to surfaces. It can live there for a while. So if you touch the surface, the doorknobs or uh, your kitchen countertop, then you can contract uh, the you can contract the virus. So that's why it's important for people to wash their hands. Absolutely, correct? because when you touch that surface, it's on your hands. Then you touch your face. You touch uh, your face. Then that also um, is a way for you to transmit it to others. If you shake someone's hands and you've uh, touch the surface that's been cough on, you could easily transmit um, the virus, especially if that person you shake hands with does not wash their hands. And but these, those measures could 
apply even without this virus, just a common uh, influenza, is that correct? That's absolutely. Hand washing prevents many, many diseases, common cold, the flu, many, many diseases. And so really what we're talking about is do what you would have done anyway before COVID came into the picture. That's a great point. So who is the most at risk um, in contracting uh, COVID-19? Those most at risk are the elderly. This is based on what existing collection of information we have. The elderly and uh, people with underlying pre-existing conditions um, or conditions that would um, suppress, your, um, suppress your immune system. Pre-existing conditions include cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and it could be even kidney disease, but th something that something that you already have that makes you um, more vulnerable. So, Dr. Lowry, what is the status of the virus here in the state of Maryland? As of this morning, Maryland has five uh, confirmed cases of COVID-19. All five residents um, had traveled internationally to places where COVID-19 is uh, prevalent. And in Charles County, are there any uh, incidents at this stage? Based on all information that I have given as of this moment, there are no cases of COVID in Charles County. And Dr. Lowry, could you uh, describe to our citizens what measures have been put in place by the health department um, as we uh, proceed? Okay. The local health department is, um, like all other health departments, is in constant communication with Maryland Department of Health, uh, and we are following uh, guidelines to assist Maryland Department of Health and CDC in doing surveillance for these cases, in facilitating uh, testing when needed, and most importantly, in relaying information and latest daily updates to our partners um, if, uh, if needed. We are also providing um, extensive uh, education through um, approved information that is evidence-based to all our partners. As any local health department we do, we are also setting up our incident command structure and also uh, re, um, updating our, what we call continuity of operations plan in preparation for the worst. Um, worst case scenario would be that we have a decreased number of services available, but we want to continue those services and we would uh, do that by having a list of uh, staff who can do staggered uh, work shifts. And the final question is, what can Charles County residents do to prepare? There's lots that Charles County residents can do to help contain, uh, to help contain uh, the virus or help mitigate it should we get to uh, that point. One is stay informed with reliable sources. Please, please stay informed. You can easily stay informed by going to the Charles County uh, government website that has links to reliable sources such as um, PHEP Health dot maryland dot gov coronavirus also there are links to cdc websites and uh, in addition to the websites the county the health department the school we have all put uh, information that is derived from a cdc and a department of health on all the websites the second thing you can do is just practice good measures that we've already indicated in this conversation, which is wash your hands. Wash your hands. If you don't have sanitizer, use soap and water and wash for 20 seconds. Wash it vigorously for 20 seconds. 20 seconds can be a very, very long time. When you cough and you sneeze, please 
cough and sneeze into your sleeve and out, not into the uh, open space. Please do not go to work or go to public areas if you are uh, ill. You may just be ill with the common cold, but just stay home and it will help you and it will help others. The other thing is to um, get your flu vaccine. It's not too so late to get your- late. No, it is not too late. The, the um, flu vaccine is offered at either at your physicians or you can walk into the health department, probably any local health department, any day to get a vaccine. Um, it is not too late and it'll help you tremendously because one, it'll just prevent illness from the flu because you are more likely to get the flu than you are COVID-19. And for most people, um, except for those at risk, for most people, uh, co the flu symptoms could be worse than your COVID-19 because as we discussed before, um, many people are walking around with uh, COVID and we may not know that they have it. That's probably how it is in the prevalent countries. And also those we have it based on data that we have, many of them are just have very mild symptoms like a mild, uh, like a mild code. So it is worth your while to go ahead and get the flu shot. Then um, at least you know you probably don't have the flu when you mm -hmm. get uh, sick. The other thing is that as far as uh, prevention and what works and what doesn't is that right now um, there is no, um, right now if you get sick, even if it's a common cold, when you go out to public places, just go ahead. You, if you have a mask, go ahead and wear it because that prevents spread from other people and that's just in general good measure whether we are preparing for COVID-19 uh, spread or not. Just in any situation, that's a good thing to do. Dr. Lowry, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we will continue to keep the community informed through the County Health Department. Stay tuned to the website, social media, and CCG TV. And we will continue to keep you posted as this situation evolves. Visit www.charlescountyhealth.org to get additional information. Thank you very much.